Hey guys, what's up? It's Julio here with Copy ID. Today I want to talk to you about the five applications we use to run our business. Now, of course, there are going to be a vast amount more with all sorts of different things, but these are probably the top ones that we use every single day. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The very first one is simple. It's Google. It's not just the search function. It's actually having a Google account because almost everybody does. And if you don't, even on an iPad or whatever, you can create your own free Gmail account. And from that, you can do Google Docs, you can do Google Forms, you can do Google Slides. All of those are amazing things. And there's a million other things that you can do. Google Sheets, for example. Now, Google Sheets are great if you wanted to um, make an Excel document of sorts, if you wanted to input customer data and then save it as a CSV file and import that into like a Facebook ads type of platform so that way you can retarget people. Google Forms are great because you're able to send people straight to a nice pretty little form where they can fill out and tell you what they like about your product, what they don't like about it. You can ask them about price points. You can ask them to fill in sections and tell you more about their wants and their desires and their needs which can only help you create an avatar. You can also go to Google Docs which allows you to collaborate with multiple people to either view or edit your copy. And I think I covered everything Google. I'm sure there's a million other things I'm not thinking about. For example, if you have G Suite, there's a bunch of different things that you can do with that. But if we're talking about low cost or free, you can't get better than Google. Number two, there's a web application called MeetFox. The reason why I like MeetFox is not just because well, technically, yeah, we have an affiliation with them. But honestly, I've been recommending them since I first found out about them, well before I even knew that there was such a thing as an affiliation with them. Meet Fox is sort of like a mix between Calendly and Zoom. So if you're wanting to schedule uh, conversations with people who are looking for custom items, let's say you want to start your own podcast, whatever it is, all you got to do is set up your Meet Fox account and then from there, you can even put in questionnaires, you can do all sorts of different things to help you better funnel people in. And then once they fill out all that information, they can schedule a time and a date. And you can add buffers to where you only want, you know, you want an hour break between calls and you want to only have two calls a day and you're only available for these times. Meet Fox is very inexpensive. It takes the place, like I said, of the Calendly aspect, which is about the calendar and doing all that. It connects to your Google Calendar, so you don't have to worry about that. It also allows you to get and send a text message as a reminder for your upcoming meeting. It allows people to reschedule. I mean, it has pretty much all the functionality that you want and need, while also being substantially less as far as price. And in my opinion, super, super easy and understandable to use. Plus, there's no real software for you to download because it's a web application. So if all you wanted to do was send over a link to somebody, all they got to do is click, they go in, and all of a sudden you're talking, Meet Fox will record it for you, it'll go into your computer, just like Zoom does, and then from there you can edit it or do whatever you want to. Now there is some limitations, for example, if you were wanting like 4K aspects, they don't have that yet. Um, the quality is still good, but you know, it's not um, pristine, I should say. Uh, it's just as good, I would say, as the free version of Zoom. So it's really not that big of an issue, but just giving you a heads up of kind of the pros and the cons. Uh, but that's really about it as far as cons go. Like, it's an awesome product. I totally recommend that you check it out. And for pretty much anything we have here, we will have links on the bottom. Yeah, it's gonna help us out if you wanted to click on that from an affiliation standpoint. However, you don't have to. Just go up to your browser, type in Meet Fox if you want to, and make an opinion for yourself. Now, the third thing is Canva. Now, Canva is a free web application that you can create and design images and social media posts and YouTube banners. If you haven't done Canva yet, you really, really should. It's amazing. And it has some awesome templates to, for you to work from. So you can even input these into your website and make them look really fancy and really nice. Now, part of what I recommend is to also go ahead and upgrade to Canva Pro if you can. It's like 20 to $30 a month, but it gives you so much more as far as options when it comes to all the images and elements and audio and video that you can use that's all stock. On top of that, it allows you to have transparent backgrounds, download PNGs, resize things to whatever you want. So if you wanted to create a one social media post, you can just click resize and copy and create a whole nother one that's gonna automatically get sized over to stories. And then all you gotta do is highlight everything that you did, 
literally move the mouse over a bit to make it a little bit bigger, recenter it, and you're all done. You also were able to create a stories post and it looks good. It doesn't look like it's something that was cut together that Instagram did. You don't have words missing. Like it's super awesome. Totally, totally recommend it. If there was anything here that I wouldn't give up, I would say Canva is definitely the one. That is the one that until we go freaking bankrupt or something, I am keeping that month to month. Now next, you have Buffer. Buffer is a social media scheduling application. Basically, you're able to take all the things that you created in Canva, right? And then take all the copy that you created in your Google Docs, put it all in together, schedule it to be sent out, and you'll be good to go. Now, as of this recording, Buffer does have a free version, although I've been hearing that they're gonna take that away. But even their paid version is only like $10 a month. And when you do upgrade, you have some really important things. For example, you can add your social handles, which is huge, right? Because instead of manually having to do everything, you're able to kind of connect everything into one platform. From there, you're also able to leave your first comment, for example, like on Instagram. So you don't have to worry about having 30 hashtags in front of everything else and people being like, what the hell is this? Like you can put in your comment section, kind of hide it a little bit while also helping Instagram expand your post. But overall, Buffer is pretty plain and simple. There are other scheduling applications out there. Um, for example, you could, if you wanted something that's completely free, no matter what, you could go to like Facebook. And I think Facebook has a scheduling uh, manager where you can put in your post for both Facebook and Instagram. But like I said, Buffer does Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, if you get the uh, paid version. And finally, we have Asana. Now, Asana is a collaboration tool. This is really, really important to us. Now me, I'm not really good at collaborating, to be honest with you. I find it difficult to go into Asana and write down notes about everything I'm doing. So if you're the kind of person who finds organization to be a turn on as opposed to a turn off, Asana is amazing for you. My wife absolutely loves it. She's constantly harping on me to use it, uh, but I do, I do use it. I just maybe don't use it to the extent that I maybe should. But it allows you to communicate with people. If you have VAs that are across the globe, they're able to get assignments, you're tagging them, they're able to read it. They can share documents with you. You can share images inside the app. You can customize the tables to have a, a structure that's like beginning project, in the middle of the project, the finished project. You can talk about clients and you can leave CRM points like this is what I talked to about the client last time. This is the due dates of their thing. This is what I want to talk about. This is what I want to do. This is the source material. You can leave all sorts of notes for pretty much every possible thing that you need. And again, as of this recording, Asana has fixed their pricing for a while there. It was like really expensive because they went per account, per user. And like if you had a bunch of people that you were trying to work with, let's say five VAs for separate parts of your business. Well, you would have ended up paying a pretty hefty sum, but now Asana has simplified their pricing. So I definitely urge you to go over there and test it out. Take a look, see if you like it. Again, all links are in the bottom in the description. However, if you just don't wanna click them, that's totally okay. It's still something I recommend. Just go to your tab, asana.com and check them out. Well guys, I hope you found that useful. This is great information if you are a beginner. And if you're not a beginner, at least I gave you something to mull over and give you some, some more options. Now, of course, with all of these, there are other options that you can do as you can Google, but these are just the ones that we recommend because we use them and we use them all the time. Now, if there's anything we can do, any questions that you have, please let us know, DM us, comment, uh, do whatever you wanna do. Like, follow, subscribe if you found this useful. Otherwise, you can also check us out at www.copyidentity.com. And if you wanted Darian or myself to give you a call and give you a free 15 minute strategy call about your business and your content strategy, things like that, just go to www.copyidentity.com forward slash coaching. I can't wait to talk to you. If this is well received, I will make another video on some of the other things that we use like FreshBooks and a million, there's a million other applications, trust me. But for now, that's it. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I love you. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.
Thank you.